From the 1st of July, cable with a reaction to fire that's used permanently in buildings and construction works requires a declaration of performance and CE marking under the Construction Products Regulation. And by applying the CE mark, the responsible person is accountable for the conformity of the product. CPR, through a common technical language, enables the performance of construction products from different manufacturers and countries throughout the EU to be assessed and compared. Consistent information is then available for those who need to know. From this date, all reaction to fire cable supplying electricity and or signals and used permanently in buildings and construction works for control and communication purposes will need to meet European standard EN 50575-2014, which specifies the test and assessment methods to be used for reaction to fire requirements. Cables having resistance to fire are not as yet covered by the requirement now being introduced, but they will be in the future. So, what does CPR cover? Well, it's the way in which a product is placed on the market, including assessment and testing methods, product performance declaration, and the type testing system of assessment. It does not say how and where a product should be used. The regulator in each member state will detail which class of performance must be used in a particular application or type of building. In the UK, there are no official requirements, so it will be down to the designer or specifier to detail which class of performance must be used. Cable that's already been legally placed on the market before the 1st of July 2017 and is in stock at a distributor does not need to be CPR compliant. So, as a contractor, what do you need to do from here? Well, always install cable that carries the CE marking according to CPR. Ensure the relevant DOP is available and has been checked. Use an appropriate class of performance according to the installation. A minimum of Class E is generally recommended. Class F should be avoided as it is likely to burn uncontrollably in a fire. Where fire safety requirements are high or very high, it's recommended to use cable described as low fire hazard or equivalent, with classifications higher than Class E. Check whether low fire hazard cables above Class E includes the additional classifications for smoke emission, acidity and, where appropriate, flaming droplets. If in doubt, contact the manufacturer. A full description of the classes of reaction to fire for cables, their meaning and significance can be found in the BCA Guide for Specifiers. Just visit www.bcauk.org. This important cable CPR message is brought to you by the Approved Cables Initiative.